Hey, folks, in this interview, I'm talking with my buddy Mitch Goldstone, and it's all about scanning your photos. This is Twitter. Hey, welcome back to another episode of This Week in Photo. I am your host, Frederick Van Johnson. Joining me today is a guy that knows a thing or two about bringing things from the physical world into the digital world. He is, he is the current personification of the Enterprise's transporter. <laughs> He's, we're going to talk about scanning and, you know, basically, I'm joking, but it is kind of true. We're going to, Mitch Goldstone is here uh, from Scan My Photos, and we're going to talk about some tips and tricks about how to scan your photos, the state of the industry, like that industry, you may not know it, but there's some crazy things that are happening in the world of scanning that we as photographers should know about. And I'm just going to generally catch up with Mitch. Mitch, welcome. Welcome to This Week in Photo or welcome back to This Week in Photo. Frederick, great to be here, my friend. Thank you. No, it's good to have you. It's good to have you, man. So let, let's discuss, for, for the folks that may have, we you and I have done an interview before, so this is our second interview. I wanted to do a catch-up interview with you, just to sort of talk about where things are in the world of scanning, what what Scan My Photos has been up to. You guys are always working with celebrities and doing crazy stuff. What What's happening? What has happened between the last time you and I spoke and today? Well, last time I was talking all about the innovation of same-day scanning, instant uploading, but Frederick, so much has happened. You know, we we look now at the horrific tragedy at Paris with Notre Dame, all the artifacts, the history that was lost. And it's just such a reminder on a personal level that everyone has their own irreplaceable nostalgia that must be preserved, whether it's photos, slides, film as well. Yeah. And that's and that's it. You hit it right on the head. That's the thing that that we don't we, we take for granted and which is why I think companies like yours are so important because we look at we we it, it's kind of like you, like your electricity in your house. You make the foot you, you assume it's always going to be there. But the minute it's not there then it's an emergency. You realize how much you relied on it. You know, electricity, plumbing, your car, your spouse, whatever, right? You, re- you realize how much you relied on it when it's not there. Same for, for this. Like you mentioned Notre Dame. Notre Dame, the, I had the opportunity to visit, and you and I were talking just before we started recording. I had the opportunity to visit with uh, Valerie Jardin on one of her workshops uh, several years ago. And now those photos, they were sitting on my hard drive. I'm like, yeah, one day I'll process those, you know, vacation photos. I did some cool shots there, I think. Um, But, you know, it was just another stop in Paris. And now overnight, literally, those images have become invaluable and priceless to me and probably many, many other people. So can you talk to that a little bit, Mitch? I mean, I want to I want to drive that nail home a little bit. You know, folks may think digital. Yeah, everything's digital these days. But there are mountains of, like I said, atom based prints and negatives and slides out there that need to be brought into the digital world. How, what, what are some ways that, that, that you can get that word out to people so that they know that that needs to be done? Sure. I think it's so important. You know, you look back at last year with the horrific wildfires, hurricanes, mm-hmm. billions of pictures were lost. The last thing anyone wants to do with the three Ps, people, pets, um, and pictures is to rush back into a house that's threatened. Wrong time to do it to make sure everything's digitized. All these years later, we still get pictures from 9-11 that people uh, discover in their their homes, whether it's slides and all. Uh, but it, it's not just those. It's just the regular tra- traditional photos that must be scanned. When Scan My Photo started, there weren't many sources for sharing it. But now with all the photo sharing apps, cloud storage devices, all of that, there's no reason not to not to do that. Mm-hmm. And I think um, about your your recent guest that you had on this week in photo, uh, Lee Herbert, a great cinematographer and something he said really hit home with me and I'm sure with everyone uh, tuning in. And that's people connect with stories, the stories behind the photos. That's what the magic is. And if they're sitting in shoeboxes tucked away, there are no stories. You need to open, revisit, and narrate, share, and save those. Yeah, no, I agree. And and if they're locked in shoeboxes and you know, who knows? You know, like like you said, calamity may strike and those are gone or 
they just they just get forgotten, you know, over the generations. And there's this box that was in the garage that's full of memories that no one knew about that grandma had or great granddad had. And, you know, then you lose the connection of who's who in those images because the human you know, the, 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 the historian connection is broken. You know, why not bring those bring those in? So let, let's switch gears and talk a little bit about state of the art. Right. So you're I, when I when I speak to you, I'm always excited to sort of learn what changes in your business have been made. You know, on the one one side, you know, what what technological advances have been made in this, the world of scanning? And then also I also, also want to touch base on the the sort of world of mobile phones and mobile phone photography and mirrorless cameras and all that more and more of our memories are being created digitally. So how is that impacting your business going forward? So, you know, you maybe, maybe start with the first one. Sure. Um, it's great. There's so many memories stored on smartphones and all, but there are trillions of analog photos. Scan My Photos has digitized 600 million, which may sound like a lot, but when you think of the trillions of pictures still out there, it's a big thing. But the greatest innovation, you know, you know we're always coming up with something new. I would like to take credit for this, but it's all because of Oprah and Oprah Magazine. In February, they profiled Scan My Photos. They gave us a raving review. Uh, and the, you know, the term, the Oprah effect. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what instantly happened with us. But one of the things that happened was we heard from so many of their readers that were explaining that they have 5,000, 10,000 pictures and we're looking for an even more affordable way to scan it all. And we have it all on the, in the news link with the article, but it caused us to think, how can we again reinvent, demystify, innovate the world of photo scanning? So we came up with one cent photo scanning. If you have 10,000 photos, it's $100. 4,000 photos, $40 to scan. And all types of add-ons where we can do same-day scanning, instant uploading. But that was the key thing. And, you know, Frederick, I'd love to take credit for it, but it was all because of being an Oprah magazine that sparked and ignited uh, that that idea of how to, again, reinvent. And PC Magazine just had a story. They were explaining other scanning services can take literally months, charge 40, 60 cents plus. And then in the article, it said, or scan my photos at a penny. So uh, I'm not sure they're feeling too happy, but uh, we are. But more importantly, helping so many consumers, professional photographers, digitize their pictures yeah in that you know the, the the this week in photo as you know the this week in photo audience is mostly comprised of you know amateur advanced amateur professional photographers lots of beginners as well but the in the question that comes up and which which means that most of these people understand the concept of dpi and scanning and all that stuff so under that umbrella what does it look like? What is when I send images into you, whether they be negative or transparencies or reflective media like prints, what what am I getting back? Am I getting back a 72 DPI scan and it costs more to get a higher resolution? You know, because a lot of people devil's advocate here, Mitch, people will say, you know what? why am I going to send all my precious memories to Mitch when I could just get on Amazon Prime, order a scanner and scan my own stuff? What, and right. I can scan it at ultra high resolution. You know, what, what, what do you say to those folks? Yeah, yeah that perfect lead in. You, know, you could buy a $600 scanner or have 60,000 pictures scanned. So when you buy one of those do-it-yourself scanners, and I love competition with trillions of pictures. There's so many places to go. My passion, my interest for... 29 years now is protecting, preserving pictures. So that's one route. Uh, for for slide scanning, it's scanned at 2,000 or 4,000 DPI. Oh, wow. For photo scanning, though, very interesting, and that's why we came up with this, is most people are having their pictures digitized to present on social media, to share on Facebook, Insta, all of that, Snap, Twitter, uh, uploading to Google Photos. And if you don't need a super high resolution scan, which we do too, 
the scanning for a penny is at 150 DPI, uh, which is just ideal. I, I think Google Photos with their photo scanning app is like at 72 or 150 as well. So that's kind of the sweet spot. But of course, there is 300 DPI scanning. It's just seven cents more. Uh, 600 DPI scanning is just 15 cents more per scan. So all of those are there. And of course, with same day scanning options too. So but for most people, most of your listeners, uh, to just digitally archive those images so you can share on your smartphone and on all of the social media platforms, 150 DPI is perfect, uh, but it does go up to 600. Love it. Love it. Yeah. And, that, and that's the big question, right? Because I don't, you know, people, are, myself included, you know, when I go through the, all the effort of assembling all these photos and then the stress of letting them leave your your you know your your safekeeping and go to people that you may not you may or may not know and you know take the risk of basically not getting them back only to get a low resolution scan at the end. So a lot of people will be like, you know what, it's gonna I'm just gonna leave them under the bed for now because <laughs> at least I <laughs> at least I know where they are. So you're saying no. So so take us through the process, Mitch. So the 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 once I make the decision you know, the correct decision to send them in to you and let you get them digitized for me. What happens from the moment I say, you know what, I'm going to send my photos to Mitch. What, what's next after that? Sure. I'd, I'd love to say send it to Mitch, but we have a really big operation. I'm only one of the co-founders. It's all my employees that do the magic. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a so, huge yeah, company. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Let, let's put a circle around that. They're not sending them to you specifically. They're sending them to this giant organization that that is, you know, with people that are lab coats and white gloves. Right. That's and, and indeed that well, not the lab coats, but the white gloves. And all that. <laughs> okay. it's, it's it's super easy before anyone does anything. It's all about trust what i ask everyone to do on the home page go to in the news we have so many reviews from david pogue on down just a big one in cnet crazy good review uh, all over the place so that's really important to find out about the person not you know those like yelp reviews where you get friends and relatives uh it's really important to read what real people professionals in the industry are, are saying about the company. Uh, but the process, we made it so easy. And that is just go to scanmyphotos.com for the one penny scanning. You'll see it right on the homepage. You click on it. All the information is there. Really easy ordering. And I do suggest that people take advantage of the add-ons, which is really uh, helpful, especially so if you click on the uh, home to one cent photo scanning and the start shopping. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm looking now. I'm trying to see. Oh, down here. OK, uh, right, start right shopping. The building. Yeah. So just click on the building, the scan my photos headquarters. Oh, OK. Did I click on the wrong thing? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's OK, though. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll get to it, but it's really, really easy. And then you place the order. There's a $40 minimum, which does apply to your order. So no matter what you have, and uh, the average order right now is about 4,800 photos, about 10 percent or 9,000 or more. So with that $40, it applies to cover your cost, less the shipping uh, back to us. And it works out so easy as soon as you mail your pictures to us. Uh, if you select same day scanning, then it's digitized. You actually get your images uploaded the same day it's received. Uh, and then wow. it goes back, back to you. Uh, we have all types of tracking also. The images are also stored on site just as a backup for 30 days for that. But, um, you know, as we discussed, Frederick, in the past, it's also about what do you do next? You got to do things and enjoy the pictures, uh, especially preserve them. Am I OK to say some names of? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, all of them from from Dropbox uh, to Box. Aaron, I actually went to the uh, USC Entrepreneur Program with, I think, the world of him. Uh, and he, what he has going on with Box is great. Of course, Google Photos, which is the biggest, May 28th celebrates their fourth anniversary. And that's where the bulk, that's the place where most of the images that we digitize are saved at. Uh, and then there's Carbonite. And of course, there are some really cool products for um, storing them. Western Digital has a new one. It's kind of a quirky name. I don't know if you've been following EB. It's I, no. I B I. 
it's basically to replace Google won't like this, but Western Digital will um, replace Google Photos and all the other cloud based storage because of privacy issues. We know what's happening with Facebook, all of those things. So WD invented this device where all your images are saved from everywhere. As soon as you walk into your house, any images you have on your smartphone are uploaded to EB, at saved, you can view it on TV, but it's not uploaded to the cloud, which is kind of a interesting way about that for yeah. protecting privacy. Yeah. yeah, that is really interesting. IBI is the is the name of it? I, IBI, and okay. it's pronounced EB. I've uh, been speaking with Western Digital, and uh, they were upset when I called it IBI, and they said uh, EB. Love it, love it. So, okay, so so looking at this 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 whole ecosystem, and I just want to I just want to make sure that I'm clear. So, you said that there's integration with with Google Photos. So, if I send you guys a box of images. They'll, they will then show up on Google Photos, or do they show up on your site, and then I have to import them over to Google Photos? Sure. I looked at that. Google Photos has an API program now. My passion concern is people's privacy. I don't want to get involved with anything. I want you to have full control. So what you get back is a DVD data disk, uh, eight gigabyte thumb drive, or uploaded to uh, actually through email with we transfer mm -hmm. all of your images and then it's up to you we would make recommendations especially for google photos but i i really want to step back and let the consumer photographers and families do what they want i, I don't want to be in charge or have access to any of that so but it's really easy to upload to google photos and the others i love it i love it well, Mitch, any, any parting thoughts that you want to share with the, with the This Week in Photo audience about the world of scanning, the, the Scan My Photo service, or, or otherwise? I, I, I do. I really wish people plan a, ahead. You know, coming up on uh, uh, hurricanes and wildfires, natural disasters, all of that, now is the time to plan, uh, not just for holidays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all of that, but please don't let your shoeboxes sit in a, a hot attic or a mildewy garage or basement, now's the time. And Siri, Frederick, seriously, 10,000 pictures, $100. Yeah, yeah, that I mean, you, you, you and we joke about that because you're like, you're, people will say, Yeah, I can go buy a scanner for that. But what you can't replace is the time and effort and expertise that goes into meticulously scanning 10,000 images, right? <laughs> so, yeah. you know, there, there's no way. And I, I do hear from people who went out and purchased scanners. And again, I love competition, I love anything that helps people preserve their photos. But after putting four of them on a flatbed, waiting two minutes, all of that, uh, you know, two, three minutes downrange, you're going to press the scan my photos button. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So these these scanners sell your services, right? <laughs> so. they, they, they do. And we have really, if you've seen it, they're really high speed. Each uh, scanner digitizes a thousand pictures in five minutes. Oh, so wow. and we have banks of them. And it's just it's a great uh, business in a wonderful way to help people preserve their memories. I love it. I love it. What a great service, man. Congratulations again on uh, providing a much needed service to the to the photography. And it's not just to photographers. Obviously, the This Week in Photo audience is comprised of, like I said, photographers. But this is for most humans on the planet that have created that have created any sort of uh, of images over the years. So, and it's it's important to get them into the cloud, get them backed up, and get them out. Share like like you said, like those shoe boxes of images underneath the bed or in the garage or in the closet in the back of the closet. The other people on your social networks probably want to see those, right? And and why should you be hoarding them and keeping them? Uh, in the dark, get them, get them digitized, get them into digital form and out and, and exposed to air. Right. That's right. And, and make sure to narrate too. Once you get them back, gather the whole family together at whatever family reunion, set up a recorder in the back, have grandparents, multi-generational uh, family members together, laugh, cry, share the memories, explain who was in the photo. And, you know, something important, especially if you have 
10,000 pictures scanned for $100. Please don't take any out. Let us scan them all because it's those goofy, silly ones that you edit out and then the other family members edit out and then you have nothing left. It's those goofy, silly, fun pictures that have all the stories and magic behind it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, or that, that photo with the blurry person in the background that happens to be long lost great granddad that no one knew about and even a blurry picture of him is, uh, is, is priceless, right? Yes. Yeah, love it, love it. All right, if people wanna, wanna sign up for the service, they wanna uh, shoot their images over to you, what are next steps? What should they, where should they go and how should they get the process initiated? Sure. Just go to scanmyphotos.com. All the information is there. Really easy. But we do have live support, email, phone. Uh, I'm forgetting a few others, but people are always here. The one newest feature is with Twitter in the upper right. You'll see a message. You could click on message. And that's serviced by people uh, throughout the country on our social media team. So you get an answer back pretty quickly. Uh, and that is kind of the magic about how instant it is. Plus, once you send all the photos, there's full tracking. You get loads of emails explaining exactly where in the process it is. Most people complain that they get too many emails all in one day, especially if they select same day scanning. The order is received. It's arrived. It's being processed. It's back to you. Here are your images. And that happens within hours. So you get a couple of emails. We've got to work on that. Love it. Love it. Very cool. All right. And, and those, just last thing, those images are staying, are they, they, your, your scanning plant is within the United States or is it external? Is in, where, where are you guys physically located? That's funny. Someone just asked, do you send it overseas? I didn't quite understand that because we do same day scanning. We're based in Irvine, California. We've been here for 29 years. Love Orange County. Love Irvine. Love my new congresswoman too, by the way. No, oh, there you go. There you go. Very <laughs> and, cool. So, yeah, everything's done uh, here at our facility. The only thing that's shipped out are your photos. Love it. Love it. All right, Mitch, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure chatting with you, keeping up with the state of the art. You guys are always doing something new over there. So we have, we have, to, we have to touch base like every six months or so to see what's new in the world of scanning and scanmyphotos.com. Thanks, Frederick, man. You're the best. All right. Take care, man. This is Twitter.